Hello, welcome students. It has been a long time and I've missed you very much. This is Miss Devin saying hello from her home. And I'm here to talk to you about what's growing in our garden right now, both inside and outside. First of all, I want you to each put your hands out like this and cross them and give yourselves a big pat on the back. What we've been doing the last three weeks, staying at home has been hard. It's been hard for me, it's been hard for my kids. I'm sure it's been hard for all of you. So I want you guys to all pat yourselves on the back and say, I am gentle and I am kind and we're gonna be okay. That's all, that's how I wanted to start. So I hope that you're all doing well and I miss you all very much. Let's get back to the garden. All right, so today we're talking about what is growing in our garden. Right now, we have a lot of things already coming up in the garden. You can see from our picture that we have a lot of colorful fruits and vegetables. We have peas, lettuce, arugula. Remember, we ate those in class. That's one of my favorite words, arugula. We have kale growing. We have fava beans that are just starting to grow. We have radishes. We have spinach coming up. We have lots of parsley. We have lots of thyme. We have oregano. We have many strawberry flowers already. The strawberries aren't out yet, but the flowers are here. So hopefully soon we'll have lots of strawberries. We have potatoes growing this year, and we have carrots that are starting to grow. That is all outside in the garden. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the garden later on in the video. Inside, my son Jack is taking this video, so I'm going to ask Jack to turn the camera over to the grow lights. Growing inside, we have all the things that you guys planted when we were at school inside. So these are all of our seedlings that are growing inside. Jack, look back over at this sign for a second, then we're going to go back. So we planted, while we were still at school, tomatoes, sweet peppers, edamame, tomatillos, broccoli, artichokes, sunflowers, coxcomb flowers, those are those very tall ones that the bees loved last year, hollyhock flowers, purple cone flowers, and a variety of other flowers that either the bees are going to like and butterflies or flowers that we can eat. We also have marigold, marigolds growing over there. So let me walk you over to the grow lights and we'll see how your seedlings are doing. You start over here. This is where our sweet peppers are. Um, if you remember, these are the ones that we planted. They will not be spicy, only sweet. Over here, these are the hollyhocks. These are gonna grow very tall, taller than you and me. And these are the cone flower. And these are the coxcombs that the bees and butterflies love so very much. Down here, we have our potatoes, both white potatoes and sweet potatoes. These are more flowers, more coxcombs. These are more coxcombs. If you go down to the bottom, we have our some large tomatoes growing. We have our marigolds growing over there. These are edamame. And over here are some sunflowers that are starting to grow. Take a look at these boxes. You may remember these are the uh, newspaper boxes we made in class. That's where you planted them. Over here on the other grow lights, we have more tomatoes growing here. These are our tomatillos, our favorite ones that come in the, the paper-like wrapper with the yellow fruit on the inside. These are more sunflowers. These are called short stuff sunflowers. So these are gonna be shorter than the other ones. Here is the tall sunflowers. Um, down here we have artichokes, more tomatoes, larger tomatoes that got moved from the little boxes to the big boxes, made them much bigger. Here are some more wildflowers. This is called borage. That's that blue flower we can eat and more tomatoes and back here is the broccoli yes broccoli 
I think that is it for now. Over here we actually have some microgreens that we've been growing. They're doing really well. We, I like to put those on my salad and guess what? My cat also likes to eat them, which is a funny development. I had no idea that cats liked microgreens, but they do. All right, let's go back to the table and I'm gonna show you guys how you can help. All right. So sadly, we cannot go to class together today. We cannot go to class for quite a while. But what I do need is I need more signs for the garden. All of those plants we saw over there need to go in there. And a lot of seeds are in the garden without any signs. So I would like to remind you guys how we make our signs. All you need is a regular piece of paper, uh, computer paper, drawing paper, any, any paper works. And I cut them into four pieces because you only need a small sign. You can't have hundreds of great big signs because then there's not going to be room any, any room for the plants. So if you cut your paper in fours, that's about the right size. All right. It is important to me and to the school that we have our signs in both English and in Spanish. All right. Other than that, I would like you to choose the type of plants you want to make your sign for. I would like you to try your best to spell out the plants as best as you can. So parents, you don't need to tell them how to spell carrots. If they want to spell it with a K, that's okay. Just sound the word out the best that you can and write the letters on the paper. So I'm going to do another carrot one. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to write the word carrot. K -k 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 -rut. Carrot's one of those funny words. It has two R's in the middle. You hear that R sound, but it's R, double R. So carrot. Then I'm going to take my orange because carrots are normally orange. Our carrots are going to be orange and carrots are usually triangle shaped. So I'm going to do an orange triangle with green pointy leaves on top. Now I'm going to be a little tricky. I'm going to, I know that carrots grow under the ground, not on top of the ground. So all the orange part is under the soil. So I'm going to color the brown part here to show that I know that the carrots grow under the ground. So the brown part here is the dirt. And then I'm going to color blue up here because that's the sky. There you go. And there's your sign for a carrot. You're going to want to do the same thing on the other side, but you're going to want to write it in Spanish. So carrot is zanahoria in Spanish. Z -z 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 I did the best that I could. I'm not entirely sure if that's right, but it's okay. You don't have to, you do the best that you can too. We're gonna do another orange triangle for the carrot. We're gonna do some pointy green leaves that go up the top of the carrot. I'm gonna draw the soil that covers up our orange carrots. And then I'm gonna do the blue sky. If you want to draw birds in the sky and sun and clouds, you can do all of that too. That is all that you need to do. What I'm gonna do after I get these signs if I get these signs, I will put plastic on them. You can do it with tape like this. You can do it with, I did this one just with regular tape. So I taped it all over so it's covered in this plastic tape so the water, the rain can't get it. And I stuck one of the, two of these uh, popsicle sticks on there. If, so, that is what my job will be. You don't need to cover them in plastic. If you have a lot of tape at home and you want to try to make it work, you can go right ahead, but you certainly don't have to, okay? What I would like is for you guys to try to get your signs to me. You can do that in two ways. You can drop them off in, basket, in a basket in the storage bin at the garden at school. We're gonna go on a walk to the garden in just a few minutes and I'll show you where that is. 
or you can send it in the mail to my house. Um, this is the address of my house. I live very close to school, so if you live in Columbia Heights or Mount Pleasant, you can just drop them off if you want to through my mail slot, or I have a milk cooler on my front porch where our milk gets delivered. You could put your papers in there too. This is my address. It is just two blocks from school, 1634 Newton Street. So if you'd like to mail them to me, that's fine. You could drop them off and put them on the porch, or you can take them to the garden at school. If you can't do any of those things, that is totally fine. You can save them for me till when we see each other again, or you could just make them for fun at your house. This is something that you can do to help. You do not have to do this, okay? All right, we are getting ready to go to the garden now. So I'm going to be going outside. Over here. One thing that we are all going to try to do now when we go outside is put on our mask, right? So my mom made this mask for me. I'm going to put it on over my nose and mouth. So we stay safe. And we're going to get ready to go outside and walk to the garden. All right, I'm going to turn that video off now, and I'll see you at the garden. Bye-bye.